The Wonder Commerce Company on the southeast side of the town held a mosaic market this afternoon. It wasn't just any market, though. Organizers say they wanted to bring minority-owned businesses together. ABC 21's Vince Lovergene has more. Vince. Ariel, different artists across Fort Wayne came out, but one Fort Wayne artist tells me it's just not an event, but it was an opportunity to highlight many minority businesses that may not get that other, may, I'm sorry, that may not otherwise get that attention. Many people came out to the pop-up Mosaic Market Saturday. Wondercomer Company partnered with the nonprofit organization Upgrade the World to highlight the local minority-owned businesses in Fort Wayne, something organizer Darren Lapsley is passionate about. We have a lot of curiosity, a lot of community engagement. We have people, a lot of people driving by and honking and, and cheering that we're out here. And I think people are, are very well received that we're here. So people just want to know that their neighbors care. Lapsley says part of this pop-up market is to showcase the culture on the southeast side of Fort Wayne, including many local artists. A perfect example is artist Narvell Taylor, who displayed his artwork. With my work, I try and make people think. So I try and do pieces that bring insights a lot of thought. Oh, there was a lot of thought, all right. Taylor's pieces of art saw a lot of love from the community, but the love goes both ways. He says several of the minority-owned vendors appreciate the opportunity. I think a lot of times this side of the community don't get sought or people who don't establish themselves out here very well. That similar feeling goes for Trell Jones, the co-president of the nonprofit organization Upgrade the World. He says his mission is to support as many local businesses on the southeast side of the city. This means everything to me. I grew up in Fort Wayne. I grew up on the southeast side of Fort Wayne specifically. And to be able to have this over here, this community feel and the vibe out here, it's just, it's just certainly like it's nothing short of amazing. Because of the COVID-19 crisis, safety measures were in place. But despite these changes, Taylor says this year's event was special. I feel like human interaction is something that people need to have. Uh, I feel like it's something that draws people together so for us to be able to come to an environment like this and still stay safe and do it I feel like that's pretty great. The event began at 4 and ended at 7 this evening. Majority of people at the event wore masks and kept a safe distance from each other.